I'm going to measure uh, angles using a protractor. So I have here a blackboard protractor. I'll just put it there for the minute. And I'm going to make a, um, an angle. Now you have to be able to tell me, you have to be able to demonstrate or name or label what type of angle that is. Now it's, it's uh, less than 90 degrees. So it must be an acute angle. Acute. Acute. So it's sharp. Like scissors. Cuts like scissors. It's cute. Now, if I take my protractor and I have to put the... Uh, where the two lines meet and that dot there. So the two lines meet right there. I'll mark that in so you can actually... Pink dot, I don't know if you can see that. And I can line that up. Now, there's numbers going uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180. Straight line is 180 degrees. But there's also the same thing going this way. Alright, so if I'm measuring from here, I don't want to be looking at the 180, I want to be looking at the zero and count this way. I'll go anti-clockwise this way. This is counterclockwise or anti-clockwise, whichever way you want to say it. So that's 10, 20, 30. Bingo, I've got 30 degrees. Didn't mean to it's just uh, like a guess, I suppose. So that is 30 degrees. Okay, 30 degrees. Now, here's 60 degrees. So if I was to take that away, I could make that. 30 plus 30 is 60, so here is 60 degrees approximately. Yeah. It's a little bit out, but it's always hard when you've got big thick chalk. So that's how you measure an angle. I'll do another one. This time I'll do an obtuse angle. And of course an obtuse angle is bigger than 90 degrees, but not greater than 180 degrees or a straight line. So obtuse means wide or fat or thick. And um, if I'm going to make, oops, I'm going to use my straight edge to make it straight. Now, let's have a look. I have got an obtuse angle. This one is an acute. Now, the acute and the obtuse will add up to 180 degrees. So I take my protractor and I, of course, I've got a line up. That little dot there, circle. So don't line it up down here, line it along here where it says zero. Okay. And I've got to put it right there. And I will put it on so that it will clear circle, make sure my straight edge is straight. And I will, I'm going to be, because it's greater than 90 degrees, it's not good saying, well, I can see 50 because 50 is less than 90. So you've got to look at the numbers that are bigger than 90. So this one is almost 140. I would estimate, let's have a look. So these are 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58. So that's 50 uh, on the... Uh, sorry, so I'm not... <laughs> I'm doing it. So... Just after telling you not to look at the smaller numbers, I'm doing it myself. So it's 30, 132, so it's about 38 degrees. 138 degrees, I should say. So 138 degrees. You could approximate it to 140. There is a degree of error allowed in school. So this is bigger than 90 degrees, but it's not greater than uh, 180 degrees. And this angle here should be should give me the other number that adds up to 180 degrees. So that's 42. 42 
32 degrees. And there you have it. 42 plus 138 adds up to 180 degrees. Let me show you. So 138 plus 42. 8 and 2 is 10. Carry the 1. 1 and 3 is 4. Plus 4 is 8. And that comes out 180 degrees. There you go. So this plus this must equal 180 degrees. And if you write it as a letter, so this is A plus B degrees equals 180. Okay. So whatever A is, whatever B is, must always add up to 180 degrees. Unless, of course, you've got multiple angles in the, in the mix as well. You get those in high school. That's enough for the moment. Have a nice day.